Howdy folks, this week at Coffee and Tools. The, uh, I've got a new product I wanted to show you, and this was sent in by James. It's an electric screwdriver, but it's for the home. Like, it is kind of like, I've got screwdrivers out here, power, serious power drivers, you know. Uh, but it would be like, you know, you want to work on your cell phone using a, a hammer, you know, to, to fix a cell phone or even something electronic that's inside the house, like a power supply for a computer, or working on electronics, laptops, anything like that. You know, a power screwdriver is handy. So what you really wanna do is just have one that's, you know, for in the home, around the office, computers, uh, small jobs inside the house, anything like that where you're driving or removing screws from something, it's nice to have a power driver. So here's a good example of that. Uh, recently, my laptop, the uh, speakers went bad and I had to change the speakers in the uh, the old Mac book and the thing was there's like 27 I don't know how many screws it was I had to take out of here to get the speakers the speakers were like the last thing to come out of the whole body of the machine and a little power driver is kind of a handy thing to have for little jobs like that around the house like I said so today we're gonna look at this little guy right here the I guess we're gonna call this the Ho2 power screwdriver. It's 3.7 volt, it's rechargeable, but they sell me it's got some pretty cool features. At least I hope it is. We're gonna find out because we're gonna look at this thing, play with it, and review it today. So in order to charge it, I've got the whole thing back in its case right now. I'm just open it up. There's a, uh, a lock, and I guess we'll call that an unlock. So we turn this with one hand like that, and that takes it off. Now we just take the whole lid off. There's a the driver. USB charging cord and of course all the pieces for it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it upside down I guess for a second in here and uh, plug the USB-C into it and it just so happens I have a little charger right here on the uh, workbench and there's a little light right there that's blinking and okay so that's showing charge charging right now so it's charging up so when it reaches full charge we'll see how happy that light is and if you notice the purple uh, yeah if you notice the purple gloves with the uh, bag over here that's from uh, warehouse 13 uh, TV show that used to be on years ago so that's what the uh, battery looks like when it's fully charged one of the things I wanted to check was uh, these screws these are really popular at uh, the hard the big box stores these days and they have that funky looking, uh, I don't know which, well, I call it a pentalobe type head on them. So let's see if our screwdriver can handle that. I have a feeling it can, but let's find out. Because it does have these Torx heads, and I believe the Torx head will fit these. Yep, there it is right there. So that could drive your drive even these screws if, it need, if you needed to use it. Uh, this is, I consider this to be light duty, but tell you the truth, since I've been testing it, this thing is, uh, it's really, it's really strong. Plus, of course, this light comes on, which lights up the area that you're uh, screwing into. So if you're in a dark corner trying to drive a screw, when you hit the switch, the light will come on and stay on for 10 seconds. And that's kind of handy. It'll get you out of a lot of situations where you don't have to hold a screwdriver and a flashlight at the same time. So I, I like that off. That's a nice feature. Okay, not to be undaunted, we'll test something else here. This is my uh, pocket hole joint screws, and they're really special. They're a square head, which you don't have in this set, but you do get it with the uh, Craig pocket joint uh, kits. So this has this type of shank on it. So the big question is, will it fit in there? And yes, it will. And therefore, so if you were using a Craig pocket hole, jig you could actually drive it with this that's on yeah that's on top three whatever uh, the number three uh, torque still a uh, pretty handy little driver kicking around and because it's usb you could even charge it in your car rv whatever or charge on a usb port at the house and you'd have all these of course all these screws plus the hex head types too so you've got a pretty good little selection of you know screws that you might want to run in that you want to have on hand when you're running into stuff like this but I just wanted to check that uh, so the next time I'm doing pocket hole 
screws. I could actually use this if I, if I need be. Yeah. Another project you'll run into around the house, of course, are these things. And these, uh, this particular type of uh, box for an outlet or switch has these great big long screws in them. So something like a power driver, instead of wearing out your uh, welcome here, you can just simply, you know, use the power driver like this and take it all the way up or let it back down. So that's kind of a, a handy item there too. And if you're doing electrical work around outlets and stuff, again, these screws, look at the length of that thing. That takes forever. But with the number two Phillips plugged into the head like this, and you can sit there and just drive that screw quickly down in. So you can put in a, a box like this, and when you're attaching it, you can just simply, you know, get it lined up nicely, get it started a little bit maybe, and then just drive it in. And it does the trick, so that's that's pretty cool. It's you know I consider it light duty, but I guess around the house there's a lot of different projects and jobs you could be doing with a light piece of equipment like this. Is not a bad screwdriver at all. Uh, I guess we'll call this uh, video today a close. But yeah, there it is. We opened the box. We tried it on different things. The uh, little screwdriver kit it's 3.6 volt cordless screwdriver and comes with the number one two and three phillips head also the h3 h4 h5 and h6 heads the torques are t15 t20 t25 also the pz2 and the sl4 which is a slotted number four screwdriver so it does have the basic, you know, screwdriver heads that uh, you, you know, that are going to get you out of trouble for most things. It's really, I'm surprised. It's a stronger screwdriver than I, than I would have thought, and it's really handy. It's fairly light, and it's like a screwdriver. So you just hit the button, you know, in, out. The switch here at the front, of course, down. You know that that switch here is going to drive the screw in. This back here is going to drive the screw out. You know, righty tighty, lefty loosey, whatever. And when it gets low, supposedly this will, I believe, flash red when it gets if it gets really low on charge. And because it's USB, it's pretty easy to charge just about anywhere these days with uh, USB being just about everywhere. And a little container cup that they give you with it is aluminum, so it's a really nice, you know, it's a nice case. Uh, I'm not sure about this little strap thing here they have at the top, but. Yeah, that's kind of a whatever. And the instructions, uh, there's it's really detailed instructions in here. I don't think you really need to work your way through all this, but it's nice to know. And there is, uh, you know, specifications in here, battery and tool, how to look general, you know, how to look after it, storage, whatever. So it's it's a pretty good little kit for what it is. I'm gonna give you a link and provide you with a link down below in the description to. Uh, the Hoto uh, cordless screwdriver in case you're interested in having one of these around the house The wife will probably take it off you be warned. Okay, you're not gonna be able to keep this The one the wife sees you using this she'll take it away from you You'll probably never see it again, but that's that's the nature of the beast sometimes. Okay guys. Hey, thanks for watching coffee and tools Please like share subscribe and have a great weekend <laughs>